Is that a good one? Ready to come in? Yeah. This, this is so much fun, showing up these, these fish when there's just all these fish in the area like this and just going crazy. Another yellowtail. We're going to have dinner tonight. I'm just kind of being a, a guide. I'm kind of just helping the East Penn out, taking all these guys and all their buyers and all their things. We're just a big fishing trip. He's qualified for BASS Classic 25 times, and Roland Martin is the current record holder with 19 BASS Tournament Championships and nine BASS Angler of the Year awards. Bass Pro Shops presents Fishing with Roland Martin, brought to you by Tracker Boats, fish the finest. Gary Yamamoto Custom Baits, Designed by fishermen for fishermen. Timbuktu, fisher's choice. Real bait ready when you are. And by Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. Closed caption provided by Spro Lures. This segment is brought to you by Dill, Trailer TPMS. We'll focus on your tires, you focus on fishing. Our fishing destination today is none other than Bimini in the Bahamas. Now Bimini is a quaint little island, it's the closest of all the Bahamian islands. It's only some 55 miles off the coast of the U.S. Darren Shepard, my cameraman and I, took my 28-foot Mako out of Port Everglades, which is about 58, 59 miles from Bimini, and we came across in about two hours. The reason why we came over to Bimini is because the East Penn Batteries, who makes the Duracell line and who makes all the batteries for Bass Pro Shop, to name just a couple, and make Duralast batteries for AutoZone, East Penn has a tournament. And this tournament's a really unique tournament. It's for all 150 buyers and customers worldwide. And there's actually three tournaments. Each little group comes in, each group of 50 comes in for two or three days. They split up in about eight or 10 different boats, charter boats like myself and a whole, whole bunch of other different boats that are there. We have like a little miniature tournament. The biggest billfish, the biggest dolphin, the biggest this, the biggest that. And Josh Livermore heads the whole thing up. Now Josh has been working for East Penn Batteries for a number of years, and this is like the 20th year that they've been and going over to Bimini to do these tournaments for East Penn Batteries. Anyway, Josh, he has a lot to say about the tournament. Let's, let's listen to what Josh says about the organization of the East Penn Battery Tournament. What we do here, we bring in a group of our customers, uh, and three different groups come in with three different tournaments, if you will. Each group is about 50 people. They stay three nights here in Bimini with us. Uh, we do a little bit of fishing of all types, and again, we have three different so, tournaments. So we're going to three different tournaments. Now, now, Jimmy Houston, he's coming in too, so Jimmy will be fishing some on my boat, that but on correct. some of the other boats. Yeah. What do you have, eight What eight boats? Yeah, we have a total of eight deep-sea boats, and we have three bone boats that go out every well, day. Now, what, what kind of fishing do you think I'll be doing? I think you'll be doing a little bit of all, everything. We want to get okay. you on a, on a bone boat maybe for a half okay. a day or yeah. whatever, and with your boat, when it goes out, you fish whatever you want to. We have very good marlin fishing over here. Ye Yellowtail fishing's great. We've, everything's been coming, coming along very well. But... We're talking about the best fishing on the planet here in Bimini. Absolutely. And the East Penn Battery Company, I can hardly wait. Why don't you introduce me to this, my, my people I'm going to fish with today? Hey, let's do I'm it. ready to go. Let's do okay, it. Let's, let's get you out of here. My first group of East Penn fishermen are all buyers from Napa Auto Parts. Now, we're headed some 50 miles to the northeast to the famous gingerbread area of the Bimini Shoals. Now, here exists the finest yellowtail snapper fishing I've ever seen. We're anchoring in 70 feet of crystal clear water, not far from the continental shelf, where the water drops to some 3,000 feet. Is that a good one? You ready to come in? Yes. Yeah. You got a little shark. You got a little shark. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. On him? No. He's all yours though. <laughs> <laughs> what am I going to do to him? You caught him. He's your fish. Can you bring him in the boat? Nah, it looks like a rope. Is that? No, that is a little shark. Is it? That's a, uh, that's a jack. Come up with the bottom. This, this is so much fun chumming up these, these fish when there's just all these fish in the area like this and they're just going crazy. Richard, I'm going to have to back over you, sir. We're not keeping the jacks, are we? No. Rich, i got to flip a big jack in here. Come on, Roland. i got a uh, yellow tail. Wow. That's an awesome one. 
pretty big one. Pretty good one. Another yellowtail. We're gonna have dinner tonight. You know, here we're we're hosting, uh, being hosted by the East Penn Battery Company, and we're with uh, some of the different people. And it, all all you guys are with uh, Napa, right? Napa, that's right. Every, you're all. This is a Napa group, and East Penn Batteries just delivers and sells that batteries, of course, to everyone in around the country. In this case, we have customers of theirs from Mexico, customers from Canada, and of course the United States. So I'm just kind of being a, a guide. I'm kind of just helping uh, East Penn out and taking all these guys and all their buyers and all their, it was just a big fishing trip. And there's prizes and there's, I don't think we're gonna win any big prizes with these <laughs> yellowtail, but this morning we had a big old yellowfin tuna on about a hundred pounds and it got off. We didn't catch that, but in the meantime, we're having fun. Oh, uh -oh there's a shark after yours. Oh, there's a shark after. Yep. There's a shark after. No, 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 no
shark was all over him. Look at this guy, boys. That's a big one. That's another big one. Actually, that last one you had was what, four pounds, huh? That was even better. That was even better. Some really nice ones. This is a wide open yellowtail bite here, boys. Wide open yellowtail. Let me show you my favorite yellowtail rig. I'm taking a piece of squid, and uh, actually in the States, I use smaller pieces of squid, but here, there's so many, there's so many big fish, I'm trying to get the bigger ones. If you notice right behind the boat, there are just a ton of big, giant yellowtail. And I have a little bitty split shot just above that leader. That's a 20 pound test fluorocarbon leader and some 20 pound test diamond braid. This is a 240 US reel and a little roller martin bass rod. Look at all the scales on it. And I'm just gonna flip it right back in the water here and see what happens, see if those yellowtail come after it. I'm, oh, the one came right to the top of got it. Okay, he came right to the top of got it. Right to the top. They're really biting good. Look at that guy. Now you're talking about a yellowtail here, boys. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one on a bass rod. That's a good one on a bass rod. That's a, that's a big yellowtail snapper. Now this is not the biggest snapper in the snapper family. There's a mutton snapper that sometimes we catch out here. He's actually a bigger fish and they get up to 20 something pounds. But for a really big yellowtail snapper, six or seven pounds is the biggest I've ever seen. And these, so many of these are three and four that we're in some big fish today. I'm using a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader on these fish. In the next segment, we're also fishing for big schools of fish, the silver phantom of the flats, the bone fish. But pound for pound, it's the best fighting fish around. That's a big We got a bunch of big ones. Oh, son. How nice is that, huh? <laughs> Awesome fish. That's, beautiful. That's some good stuff. Well, you know, it's getting kind of late in the day, and we've caught, I don't know how many nice flag uh, snappers. A hot day, and uh, Dan Langdon with uh, East Penn is going to be back to welcome everybody, so maybe we ought to go show, show them what we caught. I think it's let's about it. time to head okay. to the dock. Okay, let's, let's go. Well, folks, here we are deep in the Bahamas. This is South Bimini. There's North Bimini there, and we're with our guide, Ansel. Ansel is one of the world record, record holders for bonefish, and that's what we're fishing for today, our bonefish. I'm with my pa Paul is with East Penn Batteries, and we're actually having a tournament in this right now for uh, the East Penn people. Oh, where'd he go? Nice little bonefish. He's small. Hey, but there's a whole bunch of them. And this mud right here well, is just a little bitty one. It's not very big, but that's all right. There's a whole bunch more in here. Go ahead, boy. There he goes. Now, Ansel is the current world record holder for the bonefish. Ansel Sanders, who in 1971 guided client Jerry Lavenstein to the current world record bonefish of 16 pounds, three ounces. 40 years ago, he took the world record bonefish right here in this area. It doesn't take long to locate our first bonefish area. It's a big mud caused from a feeding school of bonefish. Now what we were doing, folks, we were running along here and Ansel saw, we saw this whole big school of fish and they're visual right now. There's a big giant school of bonefish right there. There's maybe 500 bonefish right there towards the point. Bahamian bonefish can be enjoyed year round and dozens of big schools around the island of Bimini is no exception. The smaller schools of 15 to 30 is the average, but occasionally, like today, a school of three or 400 is encountered. Now the average school of bonefish is say two to four pounds, but occasionally a big single up to 13 pounds might be found. When schools are this thick, boy, you can really catch doubles right and left. Paul is really having a ball. You know, he's never seen so many bonefish. Well, you have a bigger bonefish on. You might have the big one of the day. 